I'm David Rittenberg, account executive and trainer for Dior and LVMH fragrance brands for Bonton. I've met some of you during the Chicago trainings, and I hope to eventually meet all of you one day. Today, I would like to talk about all the new and exciting things we have planned for third quarter. Let's begin with the House of Dior. I use the term house because that is what Dior truly is, a couture house whose creations also happen to include fragrances. Dior is one of the few perfume houses still left in the world that manufactures its own fragrances. Most cosmetics companies allow outside companies to develop fragrances for them. However, Dior still has a master perfumer, a nose, if you will. Dior's master perfumer, Francois Dimashi, keeps Christian Dior's passion for fragrance alive by drawing inspiration from Dior fashion and by traveling the globe looking for exceptional raw materials. He spends years considering just the right composition of ingredients when developing a new fragrance. Dior also maintains its own gardens around the world. In this way, Dior is able to make sure the flowers it harvests are grown in ecologically friendly, native environments. Christian Dior liked to say, after women, flowers are the most divine creation. Mr. Dior also believed that fragrance is an indispensable complement to a woman's personality. One of the most iconic of those indispensable fragrances is J'adore. It represents absolute femininity with a distinctive and rich floral scent. The bottle was inspired by the amphoras Christian Dior was so fond of and by the long Maasai necklaces that have appeared in Dior Couture runway shows. The floral bouquet is J'adore's unique signature and features notes of ylang ylang, Turkish rose, and jasmine. We are extremely lucky to have Charlize Theron as the face of J'adore. She is strong, glamorous, and the very essence of absolute femininity, which also describes the woman who loves this fragrance. J'adore is available in Eau de Parfum and also Eau de Toilette, which offers a more sparkling experience for clients who are looking for J'adore in a lighter, fresher version. For third quarter, shipping August 2nd, is the new J'adore Voile. J'adore Voile is a soft, powdery interpretation of the classic Eau de Parfum. Tuscan iris is combined with a hint of white musk using a satiny formula that melts into and embraces the skin. Applied with an airy mist, the feeling is like a smooth, weightless veil of cashmere on the body. J'adore Voile uses an atomizer that allows a long, soft mist so the skin is easily covered. Voile is light and sensuous at the same time and is completely different from the original fragrance. It offers something unique to the customer who loves J'adore but might still be looking for something new. J'adore Voile will be available in two sizes, 1.7 ounces for $82 and 3.4 ounces for $105. We will be featuring J'adore with an ad in the Goodwill Mailer, which drops September 22nd. And of course, we will also have our fall set, which has the 3.4 ounce Eau de Parfum tucked elegantly inside a beautiful gray Dior hat box for $115. We have another famous face representing our fragrances. Natalie Portman, the face of Miss Dior. Miss Dior is inspired by the first fragrance Christian Dior released in 1947. The bottle reflects the codes of the House of Dior, such as the houndstooth pattern etched on the bottom of the glass and the classic couture bow tied around the neck of the bottle. Christian Dior was a pioneer in using houndstooth, traditionally a men's fabric, for women's clothing. He also loved bows and used them often in his couture collections. Miss Dior is for the effervescent and spontaneous woman. The Eau de Parfum is a sensual chipra with notes of Italian mandarin, Egyptian jasmine, and Indonesian patchouli. These notes combine to reveal a fragrance that is both full of life and energy. Also in the range is Miss Dior Le Parfum, a richer and fuller version of the original. Available in select Bon Ton stores, Le Parfum is concentrated, has an oriental base, and should be used sparingly. Use one spray in the palm of the hand or at the wrist, and then apply to pulse points, and you are instantly enveloped by the deepest Miss Dior experience. Le Parfum is available in one size, 1.4 ounces, and retails for $90. Now for the most exciting part. Also in August, we are launching a new Miss Dior Eau de Toilette. A burst of blood orange essence has been added to create a fragrance that is so exuberant, so wildly flirtatious, it is an undeniable winner. 
This interpretation is the answer for the customer that has expressed a desire for a fresher, fruitier fragrance. When demonstrating this fragrance, I have had a remarkably positive reaction. It really does have a universal appeal. The Eau de Toilette is also a great alternative for the client who still longs for Miss Dior Cherie. Although certainly not the same, the burst of orange gives the Eau de Toilette a fruity intensity the Miss Dior Cherie customer will appreciate. The Eau de Toilette will be available in two sizes, 1.7 and 3.4 ounces, and will retail for $75 and $98 respectively. We will also have Miss Dior Fall sets, with the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum packaged beautifully in our Dior Grey Hat Box for $115. Also, the new Miss Dior Eau de Toilette will have a blow-in, dropping November 15th, just in time for Black Friday. One of the topics I touch upon every year during second half is advertising. Dior will be increasing advertising again this year. We have moved into more back covers and multi-page spreads in magazines. This has given us more impact and given the brands the position they deserve. We have also increased our presence online and in outdoor advertising. And of course, there will be more television than ever for holiday. J'adore is now firmly established as a top brand, and Miss Dior is on its way to be at J'adore's side in the top 10. And just a reminder, please don't forget about our other Dior brands. The tremendous success of J'adore and Miss Dior has given newfound attention to brands like Hypnotic Poison, Addict Eau de Parfum, and even Fahrenheit. These smaller brands continue to grow and are still being discovered by new customers. In conclusion, we have a wonderful second half planned with Bonton, with more Dior shopping bags and samples than ever before, and there is still more to come. Now let's move to LVMH fragrance brands and take a look at all that is happening for third quarter. As you know, LVMH fragrance brands includes both Fendi and Givenchy. First, let's talk about Givenchy. Hubert de Givenchy opened his fashion house in 1952. He began dressing actress Audrey Hepburn, and together they created a fashion statement of French elegance and American glamour. Mr. Givenchy and Miss Hepburn became lifelong friends, and she was the inspiration for Givenchy's first fragrance, L'Entredi, in 1957. Hubert de Givenchy retired in 1985, and the label is now headed by Ricardo Tichy. Under the guidance of Mr. Tichy, Givenchy couture and accessories have seen a wonderful resurgence. Of course, Givenchy has a growing fragrance portfolio as well. There is a great deal of excitement surrounding Givenchy this year, but I will start with Gentlemen Only. Gentlemen Only debuted in March of this year and has been a great success for Givenchy. With Pi and Pi Neo and the Play franchise, Givenchy now has three well-positioned fragrances in the men's arena. Gentlemen Only is a fragrance for the modern, sophisticated man. It's an overtly masculine blend of accords that form a truly unique fragrance. Notes of mandarin, birch, and cedar blend with a base of animal notes and incense. I think you'll agree, it doesn't smell like anything currently out there, which is really hard to do. The bottle is simple, classic, and heavily weighted on the bottom, which adds to its upscale appeal. This fragrance exudes a calm and confidence echoed by its wearer, but it also seems to make women lean in just a little closer. The range includes two sizes of eau de toilette, 1.7 ounces for $59 and 3.4 ounces for $78. There is also a 3.4 ounce aftershave retailing for $48 and a deodorant stick for $21. And for the modern day gentleman's fragrance, we need a modern day gentleman. Who better than Australian born actor Simon Baker who is best known as the lead on the hit television series The Mentalist. Here is a man who looks and sounds exactly like a gentleman should. Who else but a gentleman could look this dapper even in the pouring rain? Moving into our women's focus for fall, there is an anniversary to celebrate this year. Very Irresistible is 10 years old and has moved into the venerable category of classic. To celebrate this occasion, Givenchy is planning a relaunch of the fragrance, which is still the number one brand in our portfolio. Just to refresh your memory, Very Irresistible is a delicate bouquet of flowers. A light, fresh blend of five roses gives the fragrance its unique character. There is also a hint of star anise, which gives the fragrance a bit of depth and helps it last longer on the skin. As part of our reintroduction of Very Irresistible, there will be a new advertising campaign and a new, fresh face to go along with it. 
Here is a peek at the new print campaign. Actress Amanda Seyfried is a bright young star and will be the new face of Very Irresistible. She has been in several films since her breakthrough role in Mamma Mia and was most recently seen in the worldwide hit Les Miserables. You will begin to see the new advertising at the end of third quarter and it will run all the way through the holiday season. There will also be a public relations campaign to introduce Amanda Seyfried as the new face of Very Irresistible, so you will be seeing a great deal of attention surrounding the brand. I'm sure you'll agree that Amanda is the perfect choice to help us relaunch Very Irresistible and lead the brand for the next 10 years. The new campaign will also be featured with a blow-in, dropping November 8th. Now let's turn our attention to our Fendi brand, Fan Defendi. Since Fan Defendi launched at the end of 2011, we have been waiting for a male counterpart to complete the portfolio. Enter Fan Defendi Pour Homme Aqua. This fragrance shipped just before Father's Day and has already surpassed its sales goal for the first half. It's exciting to see that the Fendi name resonates so well within the men's arena. Fan de Fendi Pour Homme Aqua is a fresh, clean, cool fragrance that draws its inspiration from the breezes along the Italian coast. Notes of citrus in the top note quickly blend into sage and cardamom and then end with a light woody base which helps the fragrance linger. This is a really great choice for the customer who's looking for something to help them feel cool during the summer. You will notice the bottle has the Fendi Forever buckle in a matte gray on the front of a square bottle that fits easily into a man's hand. The juice is blue, which speaks to the cool, fresh feeling and also helps the brand pop in the case line. The national ad for Aqua features Mark Ronson, a Grammy award-winning musician, DJ, and record producer from England. He was voted most stylish man in the United Kingdom by GQ magazine and truly embodies the Fendi Aqua man. I hope you'll agree, Mark Ronson adds a whole new dimension to the word cool. Fendi Ohm Aqua will have a blow-in almost as I tape this, hitting July 24th in the home mailer. In conclusion, LVMH Fragrance Brands has a strong focus on men's for third quarter with Gentlemen Only and Fan de Fendi Pour Ohm Aqua. We are also making sure Very Irresistible gets the attention it deserves on its 10th anniversary so we can continue to grow this wonderful brand. I want to thank each of you so much for your time and attention, and also for everything you do for the fragrances in our portfolio. Together, we will all have a strong third quarter and a tremendous 2013.